Alright guys, I figured I'd do a little video on this Bobcat I bought. Uh, it's a S300 Bobcat, two speed, air conditioned heat. Uh, it does have a uh, the Bobtack quick attach on it, but it, uh, it's been robbed off of it. Um, it did have it. I don't know if they sold it or got stolen or what the deal was, but uh, I got this lift cylinder off and then the other lift cylinder. Um, I got the tilt cylinders back and the quick attach. I went ahead and got it and put it on. Uh, it's in good shape. Uh, you can move this up and down about two inches and forward and back about two inches. Um, here's the pin <coughs> right here. I'll get to that in a minute. When I had to take these pins out, I had to take a torch. The whole thing was spinning, the whole bolt. Took a torch and split each side and took an air hammer and put it down there and went ahead and split the nut in two pieces and got it out and drove the bolt out. But the reason why is because it's got an ear right here, this ear, and it's supposed to keep it from spinning. But since it was so wore out and this ear was gone, The whole thing would spin. That's why I couldn't get the bolt out. Anyway, got it out. Uh, there's a clip in here you gotta take out. And uh, it's kind of like a uh, up It looks like this. That's how you grease it. It's got an o ring on it. It goes in here. And that's how you grease it. Like that. I got that out. Then I had to get the pin out. And there's a washer in here. It's like welded in here, and then uh, the pin is just a little bit smaller than that. So, uh, <coughs> I set this uh, homemade jack stand up about well with it right here. Then I laid a, a big punch, a bolt punch that I got uh, right over there on the ground. And I uh, took a sledgehammer and beat on it. Uh, this one came out pretty easy, and this other one did not. So, uh, took a torch and heated this outside housing and it came out in one hit. So they're in there pretty good. Um, everything's tight, which I like. Um, most of the hoses are in good shape, except the, the this heater hose runs up here and looks like they uh, rerouted it back to the engine. Uh, I don't know if it's because this was leaking or the heater core or whatever was leaking, but um, I'll have to get that all hooked back up. Um, the covers were off. There was no chain in the oil. There was no oil in the chain box. Um, and I was supposed to have oil in there, so and I filled it up with oil and used it for a while and see if it leaks. Um, all the wheel bearings are tight, you know, which was I was happy to see. So I don't know how long it got ran without oil in it. Um, I put four gallons in it when I bought it. Um, I knew what I was buying. He told me everything was wrong with it, so. Uh, it does have a Kubota diesel, 81 horsepower, 3,000 pound lift. Uh, it is a vertical lift, as you can see. Uh, so this will work really good with a grabber. And uh, it, uh, it does have a self leveler on it for when I'm stacking, which that's nice because the other one I used did not have it. Um, it's got a lot of options on this machine, which I do like. Um, I was kind of torn between uh, the, the 650 and and one of these other, like a, a S250 or 300, and uh, I think the 250 was actually a, a radio lift. I don't know, but uh, I was looking at S300s, and uh, it's kind of torn between the two. Is either that or a New Holland? Um, I really like the New Hollands, um, and I don't. Uh, I don't have enough. Uh, reason to get a Kubota. Those are pretty high. They're pretty nice machines. But um, anyway, the reason why I was torn between the two is because um, emissions and no emissions. This doesn't have any emissions on it, uh, which is nice. And I've heard a lot of horror stories with the emissions on new ones. So anyway, I ended up with this one. So uh, anyway, I've got a lot of stuff that's unhooked on it. Um, a lot of stuff has been done to it that shouldn't have been done. I think they pretty much tried to finish this thing off. Uh, they did not take care of it the last five years, so uh, I'm going to get it in good running shape because I didn't give much for it, 
and I know what these cost with 2,000 hours on them, and um, I have a long way to go before I reach the point of what it would cost for a machine with 2,000 hours in good shape. So, uh, that being said, this right side, when I push the lever forward about an inch, it, don't, it won't move, and all of a sudden it'll just take right off. Um, and then it'll stop and go. That's in high, two speed high. Um, when I'm inside the barn, I'm moving some sawdust and it would jerk the machine around on the right side. And I could almost hear the pump whine a little bit before it jerked in the gear and it would take off. Um, I checked the linkage, the linkage is tight on the pump all the way through, everything. It was loose, but I did tighten it up, it's better now. So, um, that's that. I did talk to Bobcat and they said it could be a drive motor and I could switch these two. And, uh, but these chains look like they're a bear to get off. And, um, well, the, this back one doesn't look too bad, but that, the one in the front looks like a job, uh, to get those, um, cotter pins out. So, uh, it looks like somebody really has already tried to do it and they've really messed them up and broke them off. So, uh, I might just end up having to cut the master link to get the dang thing off, uh, unless you guys got a better idea. So, uh, that. Uh, I think I've covered just about everything. Um, what I'm going to do is get this back together. I'm going to get all the, try to get all the links fixed. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And uh, I'm going to clean it up again. Uh, Dad talked about painting, painting the thing. Uh, it could use some paint. But um, uh, overall, it's a, it's a good running machine. I uh, did have some trouble with starting the engine when I went to go get it. It was about 20, 20 degrees or so when I went to start it. Um, it sounded like when I, I run the glow plug, and it would sound like only one glow plug working um, because it would hit on one cylinder for a minute, and then uh, I'd cycle the glow plugs again, and it hit on two cylinders, and then uh, after the third time I cycled the glow plugs, it ran fine. Um, white smoke when I first started it, uh, when it was cold, uh, it was diesel smoke, uh, then it cleared up, and uh, I ran it for a while, and uh, there was no white smoke that I could see uh, after it warmed up. No visible white smoke. Uh, the, only, the only leak on the engine is off the, uh, the turbo oil return line, as far as I can tell, that's what it is. It's way down deep in there. It's kind of hard to get to. Uh, the tensioner is war plumb out that runs the... Uh, blower fan keeps all 